Jesus. Jesus. Ginger's rule. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll see you after the show. Appreciate that. Um, so, uh, you know, speaking of my beard, uh, this morning, I was checking out my beard this morning. I did a little beard trim. And I was like, you know, I look a lot like Prince Harry. If Prince Harry was like, you know what? Fuck it. You know, just fuck it all. Like, imagine Prince Harry, right? Put him, put him in your head. And then imagine like a couple of midlife crises, some male pattern baldness. And if you ate like four McGriddles every day for 10 years, now you see it. Now you see it. Yeah, now you see Prince Harry. Damn right. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of weird that like, I'm, I'm wearing a flannel today. Uh, no, ladies, it's okay. You can hoot and holler. It's cool. So let's try that again. Let's try that again. So I'm wearing this flannel today. There we go. Now, um, but with the flannel and the beard and with the hat and everything, like, it looks like I can show you where like the closest microbrew is. You know? <laughs> but what's interesting is like if I take the like if I take the hat off, it looks like I could fix your carburetor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, I'll take it another step. Like, if I take my glasses off, uh -huh. I look like a white supremacist. So I gotta, I gotta keep them on. You know what I'm saying? I gotta keep them on. I, you guys have anybody at work you can't stand? Yeah, right. Yeah, I got this dude at work. His name is Gary. I can't, I can't stand Gary. All right, I can't stand him. I'm gonna give you a couple of examples why I can't stand Gary. All right. So like two or three weeks ago, we were hanging out um, at work. He comes up to my cubicle and he's like, hey, Josh, I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm only $3,000 away from having $600,000 in my 401k. And I was like, wow, Gary. Well, guess what? I'm only $1,000 away from having $1,000 in my 401k. <laughs> Forget you, Gary. You know, and like another example. So this last Friday, right? Just a couple days ago, just uh, yesterday, uh, we're hanging out in the elevator, me and Gary. And uh, I'm like, hey, how's it going, man? He's like, oh, it's good. Yourself? I'm like, hey, it's Friday, right? And he goes, yeah, three days till Monday. <laughs> Fuck you, Gary. <laughs> three days till Monday. Who thinks that way? Like, that's the worst thing to think about. Like, now every single Friday, I'm gonna be like, oh, fuck, it's three days till fucking Monday. You know, and what's worse about that is all of you next Friday are gonna be thinking the same thing. It's like a virus. So we can all collectively say, fuck Gary, right? Fuck Gary. You guys see the Prince Harry though, right? You see it? It's cool, who am I kidding? I look more like if Louis C.K. and like Mrs. Santa Claus fucked. You know what I mean? I get it, it's cool. I get it. Um, you guys excited about Game of Thrones coming out soon? Yeah, right? In the back. The back's really excited about Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. Me and my wife, we love Game of Thrones. We watch Game of Thrones every Sunday together. Uh, you know, super, we just love it. And so uh, her birthday, I wrote in her birthday card a little bit of Dothraki, right? So I wrote, Doth Mach Rach Khaleesi which means, in case you don't know Dothraki, uh, it means you are the sun and my moon, my Khaleesi. Isn't that sweet? And I was all excited and she opened it and she read it. And her Dothraki's a little bit off the way she pronounced it. Cause she pronounced it, I'm leaving you from Steve from Pilates. That's the way, That's the way she pronounced it. So yeah, we're gonna divorce. Actually, we got a divorce. That was like seven years ago. But it's cool, I got, I, got, I got remarried. It's pretty easy to get remarried when you're in your 30s. Like if your credit score is above like a, you know, a 600, right? And you have an HBO account, they're in. They're not swiping the wrong way, fellas, I tell you. Uh, but my wife now, she's amazing. Uh, she couldn't be here tonight. But I wanna tell you like a true, 100% true story about my wife, this is not a joke. Um, just <laughs> like a week ago, uh, she was like, hey, Josh, uh, you should take a shower. And I was like, well, I already took a shower. And she's like, no, you should take a shower, which is code for some of you laughing right now, is code for, hey, we're gonna go into the bedroom and you know what? So I took a shower, you know, I used the nice like perfume soap. You know what I'm talking about? I used that 
and got all excited. We were in bed, and she's touching me, you know, things are going well, you know? She's, she's touching me a little bit. I'm like, this is going well. And then out of nowhere, she just says, Alexa, add ground beef to my shopping list. <laughs> What? Like, is it like a word association thing? You know, like, I wanted to be like, uh, Alexa, add an erection to my shopping list. Because it's gone. It wasn't gone. I'm lying. 